May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, so we thought we would take you to a place that is serving up dishes from all across the Pacific. It has a long history in Ann Arbor, being first a Korean restaurant and then transforming to include other Asian cuisines. Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D at Pacific Rim. With some dishes inspired by Japanese flavors and others from Korea, Pacific Rim in Ann Arbor gives you a taste of its namesake. The menu is just a spectrum of the whole Pacific Rim of cuisines. It's um, authentic Asian, but it's just my own take uh, and often it's a contemporary version. The restaurant originally opened in 1980 with a different name. Started out as a Korean restaurant called Kana Korean Cuisine and in 2000 the son of the original owners, a friend of mine, took it over and wanted to change it to include other Asian cuisines. That's where Chef Duke Tang comes in. I had never set foot in a restaurant kitchen before. I just love to cook at home and, and the menu, it's, it's kind of a reflection of my background. I was born in Vietnam. Uh, my family fled the country after the war and we lived in refugee camps in Hong Kong, in the Philippines. I finally immigrated to California. My wife is Korean, so I learned Korean cuisine from her mom and grandma. And my mom is a great cook. Growing up in that kind of environment gave me a sense of flavors and what go well together. With the change in menu came a change in the restaurant's design. The curtains I sewed, the tables, the booths, uh, all the woodwork, I did mostly myself. I love having a hand in all those details. I can't wait to dig in, so let's get into the menu and we're going to start with one of their appetizers. This is their unagi terrine. So you start off with sushi rice, avocados, broiled eel, and it's topped with marinated seaweed, soy syrup, and wasabi oil. Next, we have a crowd pleaser, the Thai style calamari. In the breading of this is a togarashi spice, giving it a nice bit of flavor there, and it's served with Thai sweet chili sauce. Now we have a Chinese-inspired appetizer with their crispy pork belly served over chilled soba noodles. It also is topped with marinated shiitake mushrooms with a ginger mirin sauce. Next we have a dish that's very close to home for the chef. This is their Saigon spring rolls and this is based after his mother's recipe. In it is tiger shrimp, taro, you have lots of nice vegetables in there and it comes with a chili lime dipping sauce. Moving on to entrees, we have this Japanese style sable fish, also known as black cod, and it really soaks up the miso sake marinade that they put on it. It's served over stir fried veggies and it's drizzled with a soy tamarind sauce. Next, we have a Thai inspired entree with their seared sea scallops. Now these are served over a bed of jasmine coconut rice and it's in this sauce where they really get the Thai inspiration. Coconut milk, ginger, a little bit of carrot juice, lemongrass and that curry flavor. It's served with a side of sauteed veggies. This is the Korean marinated ribeye and it's their take on a bibimbap. The ribeye steak is marinated in bulgogi seasoning. They're serving it over rice with sauteed veggies, a little bit of kimchi, and it's finished with a quail egg. And finally, one of their most popular dishes, the seared big eye tuna. It's served with crispy sushi rice as well as a jicama salad. And it's finished with a ginger miso sauce, wasabi oil, and soy syrup. Okay, I don't know how we managed to not start eating already. I know, I'm, I'm impressed by your willpower Thank right you. now. Thank you for that. <laughs> so what did you bring in for us today? So these are my two favorite dishes that I tried when I was there. This is the ribeye. It's Korean marinated, which means it kind of has like that bulgogi seasoning to it. Think of it as like a really fancy bibimbap. Okay. Um, and then in front of Tati, for her, we have this um, sable fish, which is also known as black cod. It's mm -hmm. really rich and buttery. Think of it kind of similar to a Chilean sea bass. Okay. Um, it soaks up that sake miso marinade and it has that soy tamar tamarind sauce on top of it. Mm -hmm. We got it gluten free. This one can be made gluten free. She's sharing. I'm I like sharing. how I like how polite she is. She's like, I'm sharing before yeah. I'm trying. Mm. Jason, what do you think of the steak? Uh, phenomenal. I'm very Are curious you kidding about me? this. Yes. 
And then did you just double dip? I did not. Okay. No, he, 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 he swiped. <laughs> he swiped. We have it all on tape. We can listen, go back. Listen, Costanza. <laughs> um, and then as they're eating that, I'll describe this one. This is one of their pork belly appetizers. It has shiitake mushrooms on top and chilled soba noodles on the bottom. This is another great dish. Um, I. These were all just phenomenal. That steak, I don't even know how. What do you think of the fish? It, it's, I'm about to taste it right it's now. It's great. I, the fish is great. I like mm. the uh, tam tamari sauce. Yeah. It's like a, a super mm. um, concentrated soy sauce. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. It's like reduced, and, I think, right? Mm -hmm. mm. It has so much flavor. I Both could, of these dishes have so much flavor. I could drink soy sauce. That's how much I love it. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. that's awesome. I'm going to try this spicy red something over here with the meat. Yes, that's basically kind of like a gochujang sauce because um, that's all kind of Korean inspired. Each dish kind of has a home country that it's mostly focused on. Oh, wow. You like it with the this sauce? Is phenomenal. Right? This is, I, this is a good. This is a good place. This is a really good place. I love right? the food here. Yeah, I mean, this is in the same league as Miss Kim. Yeah, yeah. we're in a different dimension right now. I'm sorry, and I know it's we a, have like a whole show to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the chef um, definitely has never stepped into a kitchen before. I just am so impressed by the fact that he just kind of learned as he went. He was one of those guys. Anything he touched, he went to gold. He went to Yale, mm -hmm. was pre-med, and then was just like, hey, I'm gonna go try being a a chef instead. You this smart never to be happens. A chef. You never pick up the entire plate and just I know, go for right? it. I know. <laughs> Tati has been eyeing this all morning. Um, they also have a patio that we should talk about. Um, Ann Arbor has shut down part of the streets right now and to allow restaurants to expand parking. So if you want to eat outdoors, enjoy the beautiful weather we've been having and some delicious food, this is definitely a place to do it. So that they have the expanded patio because of that. Oh. We're in God. love. Right? Okay. <laughs> just dip some steak in the brown sauce. Mm. We're in heaven right now. Where so, are they located? And so they're located mm. at Pacific Rim is located at 114 West Liberty Street in downtown Ann Arbor. Michelle, thank you so much. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> this is awesome. Honestly, if, if we lived in Ann Arbor, it would be like Monday at Miss Kim, Tuesday right. here. Right. Seriously, right. so just bop around want? all those different places. Love Ann Arbor. Well, if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want rec restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies sign up for the dine in the d newsletter it's sent straight to your inbox every thursday sign up look for the newsletter tab at the top of click on detroit and while you're online you can join our dine in the d group on facebook that way you'll always be in the know when it comes to the best food around town and what did you have in front of you again is that the pork belly this is the pork belly i need I to you should try that did you want to try that you have to all right it would only be right okay all right, my, don't mind my, my fingers. All right, go for it's it. It's okay, go for okay, it. It's nice go. and crispy. I think he's gonna like it. All right, coming up next on Live in the D, some big time celebs welcome babies to the world, hear about their new additions. Oh, wow. First, right? Wow. <laughs> Let's get another check on the weather with Brandon. Oh, man.